Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share with you how I created this daisy flower. You can see it's kind of cute and dimensional. It's super simple to make, so let's get started. Alright, I already pre-cut some of these. And the punch that I used for this flower, it has eight petals on it. So if you don't have a similar punch, it's an eight petal. And once it's punched out, let me get a ruler in case you're doing it on your Cricut or Silhouette, it measures two inches. Okay. Two inches, eight petals, it doesn't matter. If you have something similar, everything will work. All right, so the first step that I did, and I've already done these too. But the first step that I did, and this is totally optional, it's up to you. I'm just showing you how I made mine. I cut out three of these, because you're gonna need three to layer. And then I went in with the tip of my scissors on each one and I just cut out a little triangle piece. Or like when we do our banner cuts, just a little piece there. And you're gonna do that to all of the petals for each flower cut. And those are I've already done to kind of save time for the video. It just kind of adds a little detail to the flower. All right, so now I have here some homemade shimmer mist, and I don't have a kind of recipe for this. I just went in my YouTube search and searched, <clears throat> pardon me, tutorials on how to make your homemade glimmer mist, shimmer mist, however you say. This one I used white eyeshadow, and it kind of makes like a clear shimmer. This one I used gold, and this one I used like a copper color. And these are probably the three main um, colors that I use the most, especially the, the shimmer, the clear shimmer one. And if you can see, I just did it really lightly, and I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but on the petals, there's just a little shimmer to them. And then in here I used uh, glitter glue, so. All right, I just wanted to let you know, I don't I don't have a tutorial for this. I just followed a, <clears throat> a Shimmer Mist video online, and there are tons of them. Okay, so, oh, I put my clear away. What I did was lightly, very lightly, just give it a little squirt. Okay, so it's not super wet, just has a little shimmer to it. Set that aside one minute. Let it dry a little bit. You don't want it completely dry because you can manipulate the flower petals better, but we'll let it dry for a second. And then for the center of my flower, I did a half inch circle punch in yellow. And then the, for the leaves, I just used one of my dyes from Bitty Blossoms and it comes with this leaf dye. And I also did a little shimmer mist on these as well. So once it's a little dry, I just have this old coaster, but you can see it has um, a thickness to the foam. You can use an old mouse pad um, or just a piece of foam if you have it, if you don't have like an embossing pad. And I'm going to run my stylus. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer for you guys so you can see. Okay, so I'm going to run my stylus from the edge, I'm going to run it down the center of the petal, pressing lightly, okay? So on the edge, I'm pushing down, and I'm running it to the center. 
not going in the center, just running it to that edge of that petal. Press down, pull, kind of like you're pulling. Press down and pull. And if you can see how they're curling up here, Press down, pull, down, run it in the center and just pull it towards you. And they're all basically going to come up. So it should look like this. See how it's just rolled up? And then gently you're going to turn it over, pull out those petals a little bit and then take your stylus and along the edge of the center, not in the center, just along the edge, you're gonna lightly roll your stylus around. And that basically just flattens out your center, but it still keeps your petals nice and rounded. Now you're gonna let that completely dry, and then you can start assembling your flower and I'm just using a little bit of hot glue or liquid glue, whatever you prefer, and I'm stacking the petals in between one another, kind of layering them. Okay. I think I'll use liquid glue for the next one too. No, I'll stick with hot glue, what the heck. And then we're going to do the same thing to this one, add hot glue to the center, and you're going to stack your petals. And you can, you guys can use as many layers as you want, I just chose three layers. Okay, of course I have a hot glue string. So it should look like this. See along those edges there? All right, now for the center, like I said, half inch circle out of yellow, I got some foam tape. And just put it in the center here, just because I wanted to add some dimension. And you're gonna flip that around and just put that right in the center there. And then for my leaves, instead of leaving them straight out, I wanted to point them down. So I just put a little bit of hot glue on the edge of this leaf. And I'm gonna flip this one over and glue it down. Okay, I'm going to add some glue right here, and I'm going to pop it behind, just like that. Oops, sorry guys, just like that. Let me back my camera up a little bit. I don't need it that close anymore. And then for the, we're going to do the twine first, the twine I have back here. It's super simple. I do it a lot um, just to add a little something. But basically I have this twine I purchased at Hobby Lobby, I think in the jewelry section. And I'm just gonna take a piece, maybe three inches, put my thumb and, and finger here. I'm just gonna create a little loop. Doesn't matter how large, just kind of size it to your flower. You don't want loops that are sticking out all the way to here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side, kind of like a figure eight. That's a bow. Create another loop and another loop. And sometimes I like to make these either smaller or larger just so they're not all the same size, but that's up to you guys. And then I'm just going to cut some of this off. So you have your loops, you're going to turn your flower around, and then in the center here, 
add some hot glue, turn it back around, and glue that to the back of your flower. Just make sure when you touch it, the glue's not really, really hot before you press it down. And that's it, guys. That's all I did for this particular flower. And then for the center, I just took some of my Studio G yellow glitter glue, and I'm running out here. But I just ran it all along the center to give it some sparkle, and then I let it dry. And that's it. That's my daisy. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. If you're watching this and you didn't um, check out the tutorial on this box, it's three and a half by three and a half by two inches deep. I will post a link below to that as well. Take care and thanks for watching. Happy crafting.